Sure, I'm uh, Dr. Marla Dubinsky. I'm housed at Mount Sinai Icon School of Medicine at, uh, in New York. I'm the Chief of Pediatric Gastroenterology and Nutrition and the co-director of the Feinstein Inflammatory Bowel Disease Clinical Center at Mount Sinai. That's interesting. I think, you know, our job has changed tremendously in the management of IBD patients, mainly because the medications have changed. And so with medication changes comes safety, safety management. Um, and I feel like my practice has become a lot about how to truly demystify some of the thoughts around safety of the therapies, you know, there's big black box warnings around the use of NGTNF therapy, for example. And people come to really hear, you know, if you were prescribing or another physician prescribed that therapy for my child, why or how would I respond to when I look up online that this therapy has a black box warning surrounding it? And so I feel like I do a lot of counseling and discussion around safety. Of course, it ties into the efficacy and the fact that the risk of the disease progressing in a patient who has high risk of progression. So when you talk about prevention, so the prevention is more on recognizing the risk of a disease progressing and using therapies to benchmark that risk stratification. And when once you've decided that a patient is at high risk or not of developing a complication related to the disease, not related to the therapy, related to the disease, you have to manage the safety that comes along with that discussion.